So you're heading off to college, or maybe you're already in college, and you want to start working out and working out consistently. I got you, don't worry. When I started college last August, I was the kind of person who always dreamed of being able to work out consistently but could never stick with it. Through these past nine months, I've transformed into a completely different person. I go to the gym almost every day, I'm now a group fitness instructor, and I've met some of my closest friends through working out. So let me share my secrets and help you. I know exactly how hard it can be to find the energy, motivation, and discipline to work out consistently, and I am here to help. Hi, my name is JC. I moved from Texas to Illinois to college, and this is your guide to working out in college. I'm here to help you. I'm going to be sharing nine different tips for finding your love of the gym, along with my own weightlifting plan at the very end as a little bonus. So make sure to subscribe and let's start the tips. Tip number one is find your time. You're not gonna wanna work out if you keep trying to force a time on yourself that doesn't work with your life. I hate working out in the afternoon. I'm so tired, I don't have the energy, I just, I can't do it. So I do my workouts in the morning, but other people hate the morning. So why would you wanna force yourself to wake up early if you're gonna be miserable? You're not gonna have a positive relationship with working out if you don't plan it at a time that you love. To help you guys out, I came up with a list of pros and cons for working out at each time of the day. So for the morning workouts, um, one of the pros is you get to start your day feeling refreshed and energized. Uh, it improves your metabolism and your mood, and then it allows for your afternoon and evening to be free if you have a busy social life. Some of the cons are though that the gym can be too empty or too quiet, waking up early is difficult to maintain, you could be losing really needed sleep, and your muscles are gonna be colder and so you'll require a longer warm-up. Now there's also working out between classes and this could be really good because it allows you to still be early enough to have a flexible afternoon and evening and it might be a nice break in between classes to boost your energy. But some of the cons are you might feel a little rushed with your workout and more stressed out and you might not want to get super sweaty at that time. Now with afternoon workouts it can be a really good after school energy boost. It's a really good time socially at the gym if that's kind of what you're wanting to do there and if it's relaxation then it's also a really good after class relaxation time. Some of the cons could be it could feel rushed or you could feel like you have to prioritize other things over working out if you have a busy after school schedule you might be tired from your day and need the time to rest and the gym is typically really crowded in those afternoon hours Evening workouts are also great. They're a really good stress reliever at the end of the day. There's fewer distractions because your day's over and your body's gonna already be warm for that whole day. So you're gonna have less of an injury risk if for some reason you're not getting in that proper warm up, which you should be. But cons are it might be difficult to fall asleep afterwards because you are boosting your energy levels and you might have to choose between social events or working out. And also it's still a pretty crowded gym. Tip number two is to find workouts that you love. Now, when I first started working out, I thought that the only good workouts were hit workouts and running and that is so not true any workout is a good workout high impact workouts are not the only workouts that are good for you yoga is a really good workout i feel like we all know this but yoga is great for the body um the people that i know that are the strongest are the people that regularly do yoga but in order to find the workouts that i loved i had to try everything so i spent this last year literally trying every single workout class that my gym offered i tried every single style of um lifting weights and programs. I tried all the things and I kind of discovered I love weightlifting. It's how I feel relaxed. I also really like cardio, so I'm gonna implement that into my routine. And I love a good cycle class. That's what works for me. It doesn't have to be that way for everyone. You have to find the things that you love. Tip number three is to explore alternative gym options. Weightlifting is not the only thing you can do at the gym. Many gyms offer different group fitness classes or programs to help members, and they're great options. I love group fitness classes, and not just because I'm a group fitness instructor. I think they're just really good ways to meet people, and they're less intimidating because you're able to work on your form in a safe and structured environment. Tip number four is that working out doesn't have to be in a gym. There are so many other options from working out for working out that beyond weightlifting and group fitness classes. One of my favorites is intramural sports. I don't personally play them, but I did monitor them and it was really cool to watch. It was, it's a great community and it's a great way to get in a regularly scheduled workout. Additionally, a lot of colleges are by nature-y places or at least have nature trips available to students or drives that are a short enough distance for students to go and do these activities. There's also just walking around your campus, which leads me into tip number five. Try using your workouts as a social activity. I have found that working out was so much more fun when I did it with friends. 
When I was really scared to go try a Pilates class, I went with a few friends and it ended up being so much less intimidating and so much more fun. When I started weightlifting, I went with someone who was a bit more experienced than me and learned from her until I was more comfortable to do it on my own. It's also a really good way to develop friendships. Some of my closest friends have been made because I keep going back to a weekly cycle class and now we have a really strong friendship and we're even really good friends with the instructor. Tip number six is be kind to your body and your mind. It can be really easy to get frustrated at your body for not progressing in the way that it should or for getting really sore or for even getting an injury. And it can also be easy to get frustrated with your mind for not wanting to go work out. These things are new, they take discipline and your body's not used to it. It's not gonna wanna go do it. It took me three years before I was able to start going to the gym consistently. That's three years of failed New Year's solutions but I finally was able to you just have to give your body and mind a bit of grace. tip number seven is to set specific and realistic goals now what I mean by this is that I feel like it's unrealistic to walk into the gym and just say I want to get stronger it's not measurable maybe it's realistic but there's no way to measure that goal now we can walk into the gym and say I want to go to the gym once a week and be able to do two push-ups within one month that's realistic we can track we're going to the gym once a week and we can track that we'll be able to do two push-ups. It's not too broad that we won't achieve it necessarily, but it's not too short-sighted that it's easy. If we've never been to the gym before, set an easy goal. Allow yourself to achieve something so you can feel empowered and then make your goals hard, progressively harder as they go. Tip number eight is to give it time. And by that, I mean stick with it. For example, if you go to, let's say a group fitness class and you don't love it at first, you don't understand it at first, maybe it's a little confusing Maybe you have to modify a lot of it. Don't give up. It's going to take a while. It's going to take progress. It's going to take training. You need to get used to it. So don't give up. Give it a few weeks. Give it a few months. Stick with it. The first time I went to a cycle class, I wanted to throw up. It was so difficult, so hard. I felt like I couldn't do it. I had to keep modifying. Now, how many months later? December, January, February, March, April. Five months later, I'm a cycle instructor. That's crazy. But for those five months, I was going to a cycle class at least once a week and building up my strength and building up my stamina and building up my skills to get better at it. You're not going to be good at the first try. Tip number nine is it doesn't need to be every day. Some people love going every day. I'm one of those people. I feel like I can't function without it, but it doesn't need to be every day. Your body needs rest and that is one of the most important parts of going and working out. You will not see progress if you don't rest because the rest is when you develop those muscles because you're allowing them to recover from the work you've done in the gym, straining and breaking them. As I said at the beginning of the video, bonus tip number 10 is going to be what I do for weightlifting right now. So if you're wanting to weightlift and you don't know where to start or you don't have a plan, I got you, don't worry. This is a four day a week weightlifting plan, but you can also shorten it to two days and just pick one or the other, it's two days of lower body, two days of upper body, alternating. Okay, so for Monday, we start out with lower body. And so after we warm up, because we do need to do a really good warm up, we're gonna take a set of dumbbells and do four sets of six to 10 uh, double leg RDLs. You can also do single leg RDLs if you want, but I personally absolutely despise them. I don't even like RDLs as it is. I just, they're a really good hamstring activator. I really only do four sets of six. Then we go into four sets of 10 calves. We're doing them on both legs. We'll do single leg calf raises later in the workout, but I love these, they're so great. Then we go into four sets of 10 leg extensions and four sets of 10 leg curls. And finally, we end with four sets of 10 glute bridges. I like doing them on the bozu ball. I feel like it's fun. Okay, so then moving into day two, which is our first upper body day, we start with four sets of six to 10 shoulder press. I love these. I think they're so much fun. Then we move into four sets of six to 10 chest press. I don't like these, but they're fine. After that, we do four to six, four sets of six to 10 front lateral raises. These are deadly. Then four sets of six to 10 tricep extensions. And finally ending off with some bent over rows. Again, four sets of six to 10. Then we move into day three, which is another lower body day. We start off with four sets of six to 10 good mornings. Pretty much everything's four sets of six to 10 at this point. Then we move into some lunges. We do them on each side with a set of sumo squats in the middle. And then we end off day three with some single leg calf raises. I love these. Don't skip them. They're so good for you. We start day four as our last upper body day with some bird dog rows. I love these so much. You can do them on the bench. You can do them on the ground. They're great. Then we go into some side lateral raises. Go a bit lighter on the weights for these. You might 
want to do a little less because they can hurt and then we go into some bicep curls and then I didn't show this but we end off with tricep push-ups and regular push-ups but anyway that is the video those are the tips and I really hope you guys enjoyed them I am kind of excited about this video I had the idea this morning and was like oh my gosh I have to make it happen and I think we're gonna be doing the guides as a regular series on the channel at least for now so if you're going into college and you have any questions or concerns about something that I could possibly address, I would love to be able to make a video on it to help you guys. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'm so glad you're here. Have a nice day.